welcome to the August edition of The Daisy Chain. I know many of us received the news this week we didn't necessarily want to hear about an extended lockdown in Victoria. However, I thought this was a perfect opportunity to give you some perspective. We know one of the things that is best for you to maintain optimism during this time is to pull back from the problem at hand and to gain perspective on what else is going on around us. I've got two great perspectives with me today in Sarah and Anna, who have been members of our boarding house for many years now, but certainly most recently have been away from home for an extended period of time. So Sarah, why don't I start with you? What's the best thing about living in a boarding house during lockdown? The best thing is that you have friends in the lockdown and then you can like hang out with them and especially I can assess all the facilities in the school such as the gym and I work out a lot. How about you Anna? Ooh, I've been cooking and baking a lot. I've been doing a lot of journaling, I've been doing a lot of drawing, I've been decorating my room a lot so it's been, you know, I've been doing a lot of stuff during lockdown. Um, I love this idea of de decorating your own room. Um, Nat Porter, our Director of International Education and, and Boarding, uh, one of the things the girls are most excited about is they get their own rooms this year. How's that come about? Yeah, they sure do. So they usually have to share when they're in year 10, but uh, because of the low numbers in the boarding house, they've had the option to have their own room, move to the senior wing. So uh, those privileges, privileges have certainly increased this year and they're pretty happy about it, aren't you? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I think you've all become quite a close-knit family, haven't you, Sarah? How many of you are living together at the moment? Um, 20 right now, including the new people as well. Yeah. And do you feel, um, I guess, like you've been able to develop strong bonds during this time? Does it feel like you've got company during hard times? Um, yes, yeah, since we used to have um, more than 70 people, now we have 20 people, so I have like closer bonds with the um, new girls like such as Naomi and also the U12 girls and she they can also help with me my with my schoolwork <laughs> and stuff and they're really nice and um, we play um, we hung out like a lot of times and we play games and they bought like this Nintendo Switch thingy and we play um, Just Dance like right here. <laughs> it's really fun. So there's always something to do, I guess, in a boarding environment. Um, Natalie, what are you most proud of, of the girls over the past 12 months in particular? Yeah, definitely their resilience. I, I mean, just imagine oh, back when we were their age, being away from home for such a long time and just their perseverance through the tough times and their positivity the way they've really banded together and I just love the family feel that the boarding house has at the moment um, and they've created that themselves, the team of staff have created that themselves and it's just a really lovely place to, to be at the moment, isn't it? Ladies, I know the question that everybody's going to want to ask you is do you miss home? Yes, a Very, lot. A lot. <laughs> I miss a lot. my food, I miss my family a lot, especially my grandma, you know, she's yeah. been yeah, you know, crying because of us. <laughs> yeah. And and when you when you packed up, you know, boarding wasn't new to you, you had already been boarding with us. Um, when you packed up your bags last January and came here, did you ever anticipate that it was gonna look like this? No, I would never anticipate that this would happen. Like, oh, what a time we live in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where, what, what do you think, um, if you had advice for people, because you, you have some of the most amazing resilience, bravery, courage, optimism that you see in young people. What, what is your advice to people that may be doing it tough right now? For me, is for pe people should be um, more open-minded, optimistic, um, and also should play the right part in the community to not let this lockdown be extended anymore. Um, yeah, we got this. We got this. We, we got, got this. this. I like this. Anna, what's your advice? Um, like what Sarah said, I think the most important thing is to have a positive outlook. And I think this is probably one of the right times that we can try new, newer things and we can spend time for ourselves to get to know each other a lot more and just getting to know ourselves. And because I think that's the most important thing to know who you are as a person. Yeah, I think that's great. Um, Nat, what, what life lessons do you think people at home can take from your borders? Mm. Um, certainly the fact that, you know, when you put up against tough times, that there's always, you know, the goal is always shifting. Having a smaller group, as I said before, it's a really close-knit feel, but for them to be able to say, no, no, let's do this, no, no, let's do that, and they're always consistently pivoting, you know, the word is pivoting, their attitudes and what they can do and their focuses, and it's just that really amazes me that they are. They can be in this space amongst one another, feeding off each other's energy, the good, the bad, you know, the ugly, 
but um, they just keep extending that goalpost. We're, they're going to get home. You know, they're always, we will get home, we will get home, we will get home. Whether that's, you know, at the end of this year or middle of next year, who knows, but they're always just happy faces, smiling faces and yeah, just positive looks. I, like I, I throw my hat off to them. They're, they're incredible. I, cu I couldn't imagine it myself. Mm. And I think if there's any message to kind of take out of this, it's that everything we can do to help continue to keep that optimism, to believe that this is all going to lead somewhere great. But if we can do our part to make sure you two girls get home, um, that's well worth what, what, whatever small sacrifices we're making now. But you have been enormous sources of strength not just for Nat and myself, but the whole community. Um, and so I thank you very much for the optimism, sunshine that you have provided, um, not just when it's lonely here, <laughs> not, just, uh, not just when you're baking or doing something fun, um, but actually I think in the tough times, maybe we've seen your true power as well. So I thank you both for that very much. I hope you are continuing to find ways to remain optimistic to gain perspective and pull back and look at the big picture around you. Of course, we are always here as your school. If you would like any new ideas, thoughts, or anything you'd like to share with us to help us all get through these times. And I look forward to talking to you all again very soon.